Hey, my name is Jade Raymond, and I'm the producer on Assassin's Creed. Today's Dev Diary is about art direction. One of our main objectives was to, of course, make the art direction as realistic and as close to the historical references that we found. But the difficulty about, you know, having a subject where guys walk around in armor and look like knights and stuff like that is that it tends to be associated with fantasy. And one of the important things to us was making sure that the game and the feeling and the location was really relevant to people. So we played with taking these historical cities, like the ones that I was describing in the story, Jerusalem, Damascus, and Acre and all of the countryside and the kingdom and thought how can we give this a treatment that feels cool and feels like something that we'd be interested in watching for 40 hours as we play. Now we've made a huge kingdom, three huge cities and it could easily get repetitive and we didn't want that to happen. These cities in medieval times were bustling with all kinds of people, all walks of life. You have to have the poor citizens, you have to have the rich class, you have to have the merchants. These cities are being controlled mostly by the military. And basically, this amounts to a whole lot of characters to create. But we have over 300 different characters to create. And that's just the completely unique versions. On top of that, we wanted to make sure that when you're going through these cities, you don't see the same person a bunch of times. So a big focus for the team was the crowd. and. Basically, we had to put a lot of energy not only into the gameplay, but how they look. And that means that the art director and the whole art team had to put a lot of time into thinking how we would make this crowd interesting. We invented this all brand new character based on the assassins, but we also wanted to give him a look and personality all of his own. So the first reflection was in terms of gameplay, our core gameplay loop, what is the assassin doing most of the time? Well, what you're doing is you're investigating, so you're mapping out your territory, really trying to pinpoint and locate your prey. And then once you focus in on your prey, you go in quickly for the kill, and then you get out of there. And when we thought of what you're doing most of the time as an assassin, it made us think of a bird of prey. So that became the inspiration for Altair. And in fact, Altair, means flying eagle or the flyer in Arabic. If you notice, he's wearing a hood, which has a little point in the front, and he has a robe that kind of splits out on the sides. And when he's in movement, the sides flip up, and if you were to look at a shadow cast from the side of him, you'd get the angle of the point of the hood, and then the sides of the skirt flapping up and you'd get the shadow of an eagle. So Altair really is a bird of prey. That about sums up art direction. Hopefully you still have more questions that I haven't answered and there are going to be more developer diaries where we go into detail on all kinds of other subjects. <laughs>